where he ruled at the head of his splendor. The moon ruled in Cancer at the right hand of the sun. The other planets were given two houses, one for day and one for night. And since the zodiac divided the sky into twelve equal portions, each of these houses was also equal, comprising thirty degrees, or one-twelfth of the three hundred and sixty degree circle. And the houses and signs of the zodiac were as follows. Aries was the ram, or lamb of God. Taurus, the bull, the golden calf. Gemini, the twins, which represented Cain and Abel, Jacob and Esau, are Jesus and Satan, for in mystery Babylon, Jesus and Satan are brothers, and in some sects of the mystery religion, they are the same entity. Cancer, the crab. Leo, the lion of the tribe of Judah. That can be found in Revelations 5, verse 5. Virgo, the virgin, spring birth of God's son, or Mary. Mary, or Marie, means pure, thus Mary, the virgin, the mother of God, when God is reborn or born in the spring. And that is where the mother holding the child, Isis with the child, Horus, and all through the history of the world, you will find a virgin holding a child in every culture, every language, in every continent of this earth. Libra, the scales. Scorpio, the scorpion, the backbiting traitor, Judas. Sagittarius, the archer. Capricorn, the sea goat, or the goat of Mendes. Aquarius, man with the water pitcher. Pisces, the two fish. The age that we are leaving at this point in time is the age of Pisces. And according to the mystery religion, we are entering into the age of Aquarius very soon in our future. And to them this has great meaning, for it means the dawn of the new age, the age of the illumined man. The number of the man is 666 in the mystery religion. Today, we have expressions when someone dies. We say things like, they passed, or they passed on, or they passed away. The ancients said, they passed over from one life to another. Over what? Over the river. And so it was with the coming of spring. As God's Son is resurrected from the death of winter to his new life in spring, this is why Christians celebrate the resurrection with a sunrise service at Easter. And the Jews, who knew this ancient religion from their time in captivity in Babylon, celebrate the same with their Passover. With this knowledge, we now add the fact that the first decan of the astrological sign of Virgo is Coma, or the desired one of the nations. This was pictured by the ancient astrologers as a virgin girl holding a newborn babe. Hence our Madonna and child motif. So in the spring, our Virgo, God's son, is born of a virgin. Incidentally, the astrological symbol for Virgo is the letter M, or Marie, which means pure, hence Mary, the pure virgin. And all through every culture you will find other representations by other names of the virgin mother with the child, Isis with the child, Horus, born of a magical intercourse when Isis changes into a bird and flutters over the dead, Osiris. Osiris representing the sun, Isis representing the moon. I will tell you the meaning of the child Horus other than the sun in the morning, probably on another episode of the hour of the time. Now, <clears throat> we belong to one another. According to the mystery school, we are part of God's creation. We are part of a great fraternity of man, according to them. We are creation's voice to sing praise to God as we gather in the morning. <laughs> the morning, folks, to pray. The very time of day recalls our creation 
and our new creation in Christ. During the gathering time, reflect on this mystery. Using the silence, the sounds of mourning, the psalms and other scriptures, be aware that the rising sun is the image of Christ, our sun and source of life, and that is taken right out of a Protestant church's leaflet calling for the congregation together for the Easter sunrise service. Next we read at 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 4 that God's son is the chief shepherd. This word chief is very important for at 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 6 and again at Epithians chapter 2 verse 20 God's son is called the chief cornerstone. Now, in our research into the mystery schools, we find that the word in Greek for chief cornerstone simply meant the peak of a pyramid. The peak of a pyramid. The corner foundation stone, or peak of the pyramid. The prefix acro, or topmost, was added by the Jews to the already existing Greek adjective goniaios, are at the corner. In that way, the translators of Isaiah rendered the Hebrew word for corner, Pinya Isai, 28, 16, describing the stone which was a sure foundation and which probably had reference to the future Messiah. Well understood by the Christian writers was that of an important stone which was both acro, a peak, and a goniaios, a cornerstone, but there are four or more corners to a building, and a stone at a corner cannot be uniquely significant. Although you will find in Freemasonry the ceremony of laying a cornerstone for every building that is built, and you look at all the buildings in Washington, D.C., you will see a cornerstone with the Masonic symbols and Masonic date of the mystery schools of the calendar of 6,000 years. Well, we found that we don't believe that it can be significant unless the stone be at the apex, apex of a pyramid where all corners meet and bond together, and that is the secret of the truncated pyramid missing the capstone on the reverse of the great seal of the United States. For we have found in our research that in the mystery religion, the master mason is the cornerstone or the peak of the pyramid. The illumined man, who functions as the eye of Horus or the spy for the mystery schools wherever he is at. Just as the Great Pyramid near Mexico City is called the Pyramid of the Sun, so also the Great Pyramid of Egypt was actually dedicated to Horus, the sun. A picture of this you may see on the back of any one dollar bill. Above the pyramid, folks, is the eye, the sun, the eye of Horus, the son of God. The New Testament tells us three different times that God's son was taught by and learned all things from the father. He was the pupil. We are told at Matthew chapter 14, verse 17 and 19, that God's Son tends to his people's needs with two fishes. The two fishes being the astrological sign all astrologers know as Pisces. Thus we have had for almost 2,000 years God's Son ruling in his kingdom or sign of Pisces, the two fishes. As stated before, these signs are called houses. Therefore, Pisces is the Lord's house at this time. Truly, the greatest fish story ever told. According to astrology, sometime after the year 2010, catch that date, folks, the year 2010. And remember what I told you about 2001. Arthur C. Clarke is obviously a member of the mystery schools. And Stanley Kubrick, who's responsible for making the movie, is obviously a member also. According to astrology, sometime after the year 2010, the sun will enter into his new sign, or his new kingdom, 
as it was called by the ancients, this next coming sign or kingdom soon to be upon us will be, according to